Uh, it was really cool just to be one of the first to be in a spring breakout, uh, especially for the Mets. It was really fun. Um, and I'm looking forward to it next year as well. Uh, yeah, we tried to showcase the slider today. Um, I've only been throwing it since November, so it's still a work in progress. Okay. But, uh, more so a cutter right now, but we're going to see if we can get it to be a gyro. We'll see. Is there more life on your uh, fastball now than before the surgery? Um, I would say more so I found it again. Okay. Um, me and uh, Jeremy Kivel, our rehab pitching coach, did a lot of work uh, during that whole uh, last year during rehab. Um, so we definitely improved my body um, and improved my mechanics. So I'm really happy with who we are. How difficult what a year was that for you to go through? Uh, it's about as hard as it gets. I mean, I signed to be a, a baseball player, not a rehab player. Um, so it was definitely definitely tough, but we made it through it, so we're here now. Yeah, it's definitely tough, but it's also exciting for, for the group. I feel like we have a very uh, underrated staff right now as far as minor leaguers go. Um, and I'm super proud of all those guys who are in my draft class. But I also get to meet a lot of the younger guys and build really good connections with them. Uh, I really like it. I, I enjoy it. I'll be here uh, and be part of this, this amazing group. How surprised were you by the trade last year and how much do you feel like you're starting to settle in now with the first spring over here? Uh, I feel really comfortable here. So the team that made me like, like really good and I feel, I feel good to be, to, to be on, the, on the spring training. So, uh, I, I feel more comfortable playing shortstop. But, uh, I can play the third position, like second base, shortstop, third base. I have no problem with that. I look up to uh, the, same, the same approach, hitting, same approach, and try to send more bases, stay taking uh, walks. What part of your game do you feel most comfortable with at this point in time, this early in your career? Uh, hitting. Uh, I, feel, I feel very comfortable with hitting. Anything in particular? Uh, just like like hitting, hitting when, with one strike, with, with two strikes, I feel, I feel comfortable. Yeah, I know it's cool, um, you know, knowing that there's a lot of, you know, for real talent up here and being able to be alongside of guys I played with last year. And then they had a couple guys in their lineup that I faced before um, in the last regular season. So um, it was cool. Just wasn't thinking of doing too much. Just, you know, trying to get in and get out. It's kind of toasty today. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, when like something like this gets planned and, you know, each org is, you know, putting, you know, their front runners of who they think are they're legit prospects and then you know you get to be a part of that on the other half it's cool um you know we're all prospects at the end of the day so i wasn't it's it's always like a trade-off of you know giving a hit of respect and then giving them too much respect so i know they're all you know good bats and they're all good players you know just like myself so i just just good matchups good matchups um i feel like i got to show more of what i have in the live abs you know i only got eight pitches in the actual grapefruit <laughs> league this this year but um you know it doesn't change it was kind of same with the classic last year you know i didn't get to throw as much as you know i would hope for or what i was looking forward to but you know just being around you know that atmosphere getting acclimated with you know high level players and kind of visualizing this as the major league team going forward it's it's definitely cool you get a taste of you know what what it could be at that next level so you know we're all just geared up to get ready for the season and hopefully make an impact you know at the big league level as much as we can as quick as we can what was your biggest takeaway from being in, in big league camp what did you learn from being around uh veteran guys more often just knowing i belong i mean just talking shop with these guys obviously you can always talk baseball but you know i feel like you get the most out of meeting your teammates when you get to know them on like a personal level and you try to be relational and you know obviously you don't want to overstep any boundaries but you know you know you're only going to be here for x amount of weeks x amount of days so you just try to really take advantage of that and just talk shop with a lot of guys and you know i got to throw a decent amount of like sean Manaya and how's just another good guy i was able to talk to and uh it's just cool to see you know those uh those big league personalities you know you always see them on the tv but when you see how they're just very grounded people i feel like that's that makes me appreciate that a lot more do you expect to be in the big leagues this absolutely season? absolutely i do obviously you know it's i can control only what i can control but you know i know i come in i bust my ass every day and i, I feel confident in where i'm at and i feel like i belong and i know i can just get out you know at any point of the game uh, college career was able to be versatile throughout the pen a couple of times obviously mostly a starter but you know I can I just like to get out if, if I can get the ball and just get some outs and help out a team as much as I can that's my plan so
Uh, short and sweet, and that was good. What was it like, just in general, for you? Um, you know, I'm not gonna lie, like, there were nerves, but yeah. that's for me, that's every outing. Um, just be able to pitch in this in this spring training spring training stadium for the first time. I mean, it was uh, it was good. Just be able to take it all in. I mean, it's everything I've worked for, and hopefully, you know, just keep building off of this and just enjoy it. Yeah, um, I would say definitely on a little bit of mechanics uh, with my back leg. Uh, that's something that we worked on right when I, right when I first got here. Um, and then pitches wise, just work on the slider, um, continue to, to build on that, um, just, make, just make it better and uh, ex turn into more of an execution pitch. The, the lab here, like they they uh, kind of mark marked us up, um, and we kind of do a little like lab study on it. Um, just to see like kind of how our body moves, um, what works for us, what doesn't, and like what, what we could do better to help us with our game, but also to stay uh, uh, injury free, pretty much. The adrenaline uh, is definitely a little, a, little, a little high today than what it has been in the backfield, but um, it doesn't really matter the atmosphere. I mean, just trying to go out and just, just do my thing, just take a pitch by pitch. Does that mean you have more in the tank? Um, uh, <laughs> I'm sure there is. <laughs> I've never, I've never tried to go out on all cylinders, yeah. but um, I'm sure there's a little more in there. Have you hit 100 before? Uh, I have. You're aware of? I yeah. Have. Okay. I must have been a cool feeling. No, it was good. <laughs> it was, it was good. Have you hit 101? I have. <laughs> <laughs> have you hit 102? I have not. Not, not, not that I'm aware of. Sure. Not that I'm aware of. If I can ever meet Otani, pick, pick his brain a little bit, kind of see what his day-to-day -day looks like, how he manages his body. Um, and I'm sure his routine would be completely different to mine, but being able to pick his brain and take take some things from him would be, would be incredible. Yes, building up as a starter, um, that's also new, but um, that's exciting. I think that'll help routine more than anything. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the Mets obviously know what they're doing with uh, guys like Steve Scott and Stu. I mean, those guys are incredibly talented uh, and like you said we're relievers in college turned turned starters and it turned out all right for them so far so hopefully hopefully i follow that trend not many people do it um and i want to stay a kid as long as i can and since i was young it was playing in the field and hitting home runs and pitching and doing everything um, since i was little i've always played multiple sports multiple positions and i'd like to stay that way as long as i can